hello guys welcome back and welcome to angle series as well so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe for more web development related courses so so far we have covered uh, in the angular series like what is how to install angular in local and what is the i have explained the folder structure as well so today we will see what is a component and how to create a component and component uses as well so coming to the component component this is the definition i have taken from the angular official website so components are the most basic ui building block of an angular app an angular app contains a tree of angular components so basically without a component and without a service so, so there are certain concepts without that there will be these are, without that there will be no angular app because they are the building blocks so the component is one of that so while whenever we are creating any component each component consists of an html template that declares what renders on the page so <coughs> and a typescript class that defines the behavior and a css selector that defines how the component is used in a template so typical he is here uh, in the angular official website it is a it is explaining a typical ts file so don't worry we'll see it in a moment so i'm going to the project that i have created uh, last time so this is the file he is talking about so he is talking about a selector and he is talking about a template url that is html file and he is talking about a styles url that is app.component.css so according to the definition he is telling whenever if we create a component it will generate css file html file ts file as well as a spec file so if you remember i told spec file is for unit testing so before going to uh, create a component i forgot to explain one thing to you like uh, what is an entry point of an angular application so basically uh, if you give command ng space serve so we are seeing this app component html file as an output so uh, by going forward you have to create a lot of angular components and services and all so if we uh, and also if you remember i told angular is a single page application so how that single page application is happening here and how uh, how this index.html is different from this app.component.html so i will explain now so basically whenever we are running an, our, our angular application it will straight away comes here in the main.ts file so in the main.ts file it will check for platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap module so it is bootstrap module like it will Uh, redirect in the simple terms it's it will redirect to app module so whatever module present here it will redirect to there so it is bootstrapping to app module so if we go to definition so app module is this app.module.ts file so here ng module it is declaring the app component as of now we are having only one component so that's why so app module file is simply a configure it is simply a kind of uh, configuration file you can say like whatever the components we are creating we will declare every component here so here again it is bootstrapping to app component so that is the reason it is showing that app component ui in the output so we will just go to this definition so this is the app.component.ts file here there is a selector app root so in the if you remember we are about to discuss about component users but i will explain now see uh, so while creating a component it will create a ts file in the ts file we will be having a selector so we need to uh, give that selector in our html so here in the index.html in the body it is giving that selector here so here we are calling this selector here so i'm talking about an angle single page application so that single page application is this so from here it will render app root app root in the sense this ui so straight away we are coming to the point like uh, here uh, in the index.html we are calling app root so this app root will call this app component.html so that is the reason whenever we are giving the command ng so uh, we are seeing the output is this so that's about an entry point of angular application hope you get some idea like how this how why angular is single page application and uh, uh, how this output is rendering and all so now we will see how to create 
a component so for that you need to go to our project or this is angular folder and if you remember uh, ng is an angular command and g for generate c for component and we need to give the component name so i am giving the component name as user so i am hitting enter so if you observe ng is an angular command and g for generate and c for component you can give c or a component so whatever you can give either c or a component anything uh, anything from these two it will take and this is the component name so yes so the component has created so if we observe in the use it is created a folder as well and also if you need to remember i mean here we can we need to observe one thing like uh, whatever the files that we are creating for our project everything that will be under source folder source folder within that source within that there will be a folder called app within that only all our uh, things will create if you want you can create outside the app also so as i told by default uh, if we create a component it will create four files html file css file spec file and ts file so don't confuse with this css file and style.css file style.css file is for global styling and this css is for component level styling so that we will see in the future videos so time being you remember like that so this is the this is the default code that will that angular is providing whenever we are getting any component so this is the selector that we are getting in the app user so now we will just run this project and we will see what we are getting because we have created a new component we will see whether this component is reflecting in the ui or not so for that i'm running the command ng space serve so uh, running the project will take some time so now our project running successfully and the anger live development server is listening on localhost column 4200 now we need to open our browser with this url so we will do that so we need to check whether the newly created component ui is coming or we uh, the old one is coming so see still we are getting the output from the app component but uh, we want the output from the newly component newly created component so for that we need to do a small change so now we are coming to the main point like uh, how to uh, like what is component uses so i'm um, for i'm clearing all this html from the app dot component at html and as i told you need to take this selector and uh, in the main, in the html file i'm taking a div and this is how we need to make use of the component so i'm calling this app user from this app dot component html so straight away it will come to main dot ts file it will check for app module and as i told in the app as i told see if you remember uh, as i i told like whatever with whatever components we are created it will automatically import here see initially previously it was only app component but now it is user component also there is user component in the declaration and it is bootstrapping app component and it will go to app dot component ts file it will see it will search for app root and in the index.html it is calling app root so it will go to app dot component html in the app dot component html we are calling the app user so now i am expecting that ui will be this paragraph so we'll just see in the browser yes so this is the ui that we are getting from the newly created component so so far we have covered what is a component and uh, how to create a component and uh, component uses as well so that's it for today guys so if you have any doubts uh, about this video please mention in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more angular related videos and web development related videos so thank you for watching guys